Hello again. Since I'm a certified new construction specialist, I wanted to address this topic because I've had quite a few questions about it lately. If you've been looking at purchasing a new construction home, you may be aware that many of today's builders have their own lender or one or more preferred lenders that they refer buyers to. But do you have to use their lender? And is it even a good idea? The short answers are no and maybe. Let's dig in a little further. First, let's look at the law. A builder can't require you to use any specific lender, nor can they charge you more for the home you're buying for not using their preferred lender. They can, however, make it appealing to you to use their lender by offering incentives. How about those incentives? The builder's preferred lender may not have the lowest interest rate, more on that later, but they do have the flexibility and incentives that make using their lender worth it. That could mean throwing in thousands of dollars in appliances, upgrading your countertops or floors, including backyard landscaping or helping with closing costs, all of which is enticing when buying a new home filled with builder basic items. Incentives can be worth up to 2 to 3% of the price of the home. These incentives mean it actually may be less expensive to buy a new home than a resale in some cases. Are the rates better? Back to the rates. Those builder perks might have some strings attached. Perhaps the builder's lenders, the preferred lender's mortgage interest rate is higher than average or the origination fees may cost more. Yes, the incentives being offered may be hard to resist, but it's important to see past them in order to decide whether it's worth it for a higher interest rate. It's not always clear whether the builder's package is a better deal than a loan from another lender without the incentives. That means that buyers must shop around and compare lenders' offers. The interest rate is for 30 years typically, and the difference of a lower rate versus the incentive can be quite substantial. In fact, the typical home buyer could see a lifetime savings of nearly $30,000 on a $300,000 loan by shopping around for the best mortgage interest rate. That savings amount represents receiving mortgage annual percentage rate that is 0.64 percentage points lower than the competition. Here's another advantage to going with the builder's preferred lender. You may also save time and streamline the home buying process. When you buy from a builder and use a lender who is not familiar with the development in which you are buying, there could be delays and confusion regarding closing costs. If you have a lender that is unfamiliar with this particular builder and doesn't do his due diligence, it could result in thousands due at closing if the buyer is not aware of it. A good realtor can help you with this very important decision. As always, if you have any questions about this or any other real estate related matter, I'm here to assist. I'm Melissa Waterwall, real estate advisor, and I'm here to help with all things real estate. Whether buying, selling, or both, I can guide you through the process and relieve some of the stress involved. Reach out anytime by phone, text, or email, or check out my website at melissa.realtor for more information. See you again soon.